Okay, here it is, hot, steaming hot. And yeah, as a Spanish person, this 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 is going to be painful because we don't put chorizo. Why we don't do it? Because it's very simple. Especially if you have prawns in a paella, if you put chorizo, it's going to overpower everything, basically everything. So all that you are going to taste is chorizo. You're not going to taste the lovely prawns or anything else. You're just going to taste chorizo. Anyway, let's see, let's see. The rice doesn't even look like rice. It doesn't taste like a paella at all. It's like, that's a lot of tomato in it, but like way too much. You put on a paella, Sometimes you put a little bit of fresh grated tomato, but not like this. This is too much. Oh my god, this is painful. Prince are fine. Now, let me tell you something. Don't think. Like paella comes from the Valencia region in Spain. So don't think that <clears throat> Spanish people just get angry about paella because I know this is a very tough topic um, with people who is not from Spain. People from Valencia get really agitated at the rest of Spain when they make paella, when it's not like it should be. It's like a recipe that needs to be like that if you are doing paella valenciana, which is like their staple there's a lot of types of paellas but when they say paella valenciana and it's not like it should be they will come for you they will come for you anyway let's try the chorizo <laughs> my spanish pa passport is going to be broken next time i'm going to the embassy oh my god this is not even chorizo spanish chorizo it is like pepperoni, which is similar, but it's not. And there's some weird meat. I think it's chicken. Awful. 